Right, hello. I'm um, just done meditating for a while. And I uh, felt like I had a block the um, last couple of days, last few days. And also I want to correct something which I said, which I now feel is wrong, um, about uh, how my body was made. And I said that um, my mother provided the egg and God provided the sperm. Well, now I'd say I've had um, confirmation that both would have been created by God. And um, <clears throat> that then, because like, you know, you can sit there and meditate, you know, smoke whatever but if you're thinking the wrong thing you're not going to feel anything all you're going to feel is oh, I want to eat some chocolate or I want to smoke another one or you know it doesn't come through so I'd say probably a couple of weeks ago I had this sort of vision that God sort of created the thing and put it in you know, my mum. <laughs> and I got this real strong feeling with it, but straight away just went, no, that's too much. I can't accept that. Can't accept that because then, you know, why bold head? <laughs> God, you're so funny. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, yesterday, as like I said, I was having a bit of a block and I was thinking all right so was it was it then my dad you know and then trying to feel okay was it someone else you know and kind of didn't get anything and then today I was just sitting there and I was thinking oh yeah I thought I'd check that yesterday but then I thought oh no I didn't actually think I didn't actually try did God make both so then I suddenly try right to God make both, and then suddenly the feeling comes. And I don't control the feelings. Now, so then you'll say, well, yeah, some spirit trying to make you feel that. But I know through the course of a year that it isn't that. I know this. I know it's God. I wouldn't. How can I tell you that I know it doesn't matter? I think I'm going off off piece today. So it's the feelings that you want. You want the feelings because you know that's the pathway to better understanding and feeling better and fixing errors and everything. So how did I unblock? Because that thought came after I sort of unblocked. It was the... I was just not getting any feeling anyway. So, the thought that started to unblock was, I need God. Right? So, we need God. Now... That's, on its own, isn't enough to cause something, right? I mean, the first time you realise that, that will be amazing. But then, you know, once you've realised that, you need to start applying it to, you know, more specific areas. So, if we take the truth that we have half an eternal soul, we've got eternity. Now obviously I can't draw eternity on a piece of paper so we'll put a big number 10 billion and we'll make it a time years. I was going to say actually a hundred billion years. A <laughs> hundred billion years on a piece of paper. Okay. 
So, and the other thing is, if you haven't realized this yet, is, um, you know, 99.99999% of us have not reincarnated. We began when our soul became aware and jumped in to a body. Right, so if you haven't felt the truth of that for yourself, feel it. Oh, bollocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so I've divided this line into ten. Now, the whole line is a hundred billion years. So the first segment is ten billion years. Now remember we're talking about the life of your soul that there is to come. And I just want to illustrate that that we are so very 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 near the beginning you know we're not even babies we're we're like little fetuses attached with the umbilical cord that is our soul. And that, what that led me to feel was that, you know, it's expected that I'm dependent upon God for, you know, this development of mine. I'm, I'm right at the very beginning. So that allowed me to let go. And um and that's often what's needed to be done is to you know let go and put your trust into God and and feel what you know what's gonna come and and you know and then straight away I was into a thought and then into feeling now this I can do because you know I've I've been doing it for <clears throat> for a while I've been getting used to it um, Now, you know, it's it's quite tricky for me to think, you know, what what are other people capable of? And I think in my last video and maybe in some comments, you know, I've I've gone, you know, well, you know, we need um <laughs> okay. Um that yeah, you know, people have felt God. <clears throat> And I think what might be happening here is in a in a condition where you're you're sort of let's say you are listening to classical music or watching an opera and you're so into the opera that you know all your belief system about God and everything is sort of put aside and 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 you get a nice feeling come into your soul and and you know you've opened to God momentarily but to really open to God you know you have to be 
you have to be understanding it intellectually as well like your soul part of your soul ha has an intellect a belief system and this so makes sense this is at the top sort of here and when you so for example so many times when I've started feeling God you know it's, and it's always different with God it, it's always different you know, it's it's never exactly the same twice. There's obviously a lot to learn, so, you know, keep going. But I've just been, say, sitting here thinking, and then I thought, well, you know, I'm not really here. There's just atoms and everything else. And, you know, and you're just sort of getting more of an understanding of God. So you you you're, you're thinking about it. <laughs> Now the first time I really felt in at least in my adult life and there you know if the first few times after like in the late summer of 2014 the first time was like a born again moment and that was such a happy one um, and it was, it was so amazing because my whole body, it was, you know, that scary, and, but I was at a point where I could just go with it, but at other times I might have, I might have resisted it. I went through it, and then there were people around me at the time, and I was almost going to say, didn't, they, didn't you guys feel that? But I could, I could tell by looking at them that they didn't because you know they would have been like <laughs> you know sort of like so I just sort of realized that that was just me that that happened to you know it wasn't just like a plasma burst from space or something that just went through us all but yeah that you know it was it was happy and it was but it was, you know, you had to be a little bit faithful that you weren't going to collapse and die or something because it was all-encompassing, if you like. And, you know, without having heard the truth, I think I, you know, and all through my life, you know, I've been seeking truth, I'd got quite well on my own when I was 19 and kind of went away from it and so all that put together too you know I was ready for it and I guess it won't happen until you're ready for it um so you yeah. <laughs> know what's that <laughs> It will happen when it happens. God will do what God does. So just you know, everyone, everyone knows their own mind for sure. You know, everyone knows if they're lying to themselves. People know that, me included, and I'm not. <laughs> I don't think I am. It's, um, you know, when, when I get new things and it's like, and I think to myself, what am I going to think of this in two weeks' time? All right, so I'm going to move on. The, I also started thinking about what I predicted and in my previous video for the next, you know, this period and, and going into May 2016. And I keep reminding myself that around this period, when I was sitting there, there was, you know, it wasn't clear to me, it wasn't shown to me, you know, there was a um, this p period of blackness. And I got this feeling about the gas and, and, and the stuff, you know, that was around November time. And to be honest, I was getting a lot of, there was a lot of shit in the air around then. 
and you know did have that meteor that landed near Sri Lanka was it November the 13th um, and it split in two and this other thing came out now and they were saying it was man-made, so there was a lot of thing trying to put us off it. And now we hear NASA saying, found planet X. And there's some weird things been said about it. The size isn't that big, but then they said something about its gravity, its mass, and it something being invisible. So is this the, is this how they're going to leak it? You know, slowly but surely, and then the RFID chip. When if they say, "Well, right, aliens come," you know, they'll they'll suck you up onto their ship or whatever. If you're wearing, if you have an RFID chip, <coughs> very far fetched. <clears throat> um, but uh, we're still before Christmas, so still got a bit of time to wait. But um. No end, no end in the uh, craziness going on in the world. Oh. So, um, you might find, if what I'm saying is true, that um, whether you accept me or not may affect your karma. That's just, a, it's just a, you know something to watch for. M me too, me included. <laughs> I have to accept myself, don't I? It'll affect my car. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think it could be? We will see. And, um, yeah, someone requested me make a video about AJ's videos. And, um, I almost get the feeling that AJ has stopped believing, but wants to continue it to, you know, because he's seen it does help, or, you know, there is some truth in it, but, you know, him making this studio, um, now he's making loads of it. Well, loads of it. Now he's making videos. Uploaded a load of ones that weren't uploaded before. He says some bizarre things, and you know there may be some new truths in there. And to be honest, at the moment with AJ, I I'm having to go through everything, bit by bit that he said, and and feel about it, feel whether it's true because. It's, you know, he's saying some stuff, I can't think of an, an example I haven't mentioned already. Um, there was one I just thought about earlier and I thought, oh, maybe that's bullshit as well. <laughs> he just made it up. You know, it was, what was it now? I can't remember. It may come. But... You know, and he goes on about addiction, addiction, addiction. Got to get out of your addictions. And then, you know, he's guilty himself. I mean, <laughs> sorry to say, but I bet he's addicted to having sex with Mary. And as it's not his soulmate, that is a sin. And to be honest, like, I believe I've seen, well, know my soulmate. And, and the... F the feelings is very different. It, it is, there is a sexual connection, but there's so much more without it, and, and I've been, com you know, been comparing a bit because I had, you know, quite strong feelings for another person, you know, quite it was quite strong, chemically strong, if you like, and I've analysed that if you like by feeling it and allowing it and and that's very much much just just about it's just sexual it's just you know so 
I can really got a really good comparison, and you know it's just different. And when when you see them in an interview, and they're just bitching, mainly bitching, and then laughing. Yeah, I really, I really don't think um, they're very helpful, and. To be honest, you know, I like being challenged, but um, when someone goes on and on and on and repeats so many times the same words, um, you know, it becomes sort of brainwashing, doesn't it? And a lot of people do like to hear his voice, and I do too, you know, I like, you know, I've heard a lot of his videos, and, you know, hearing him talk about God, I like that, I really do, when he's talking about God, but not when he's saying the wrong things, and not when he's bringing people down. He's bringing people down in a sense to defend his own lack of progress. He almost, what he talks about, he almost shows he lacks faith in God, because you know, if the way he's sort of slightly twisted the core truth, which he did bring, but the way he's slightly twisted it sort of starts to make things more negative. So, you know, I'll probably watch a few more of his, see what, you know, seeing as they're more up to date now to see where he is and hopefully you know, you might start improving, um, but things are the way they are, and they're the way they're meant to be. So, um, yeah, I just, yeah, so just caution, I'd say, so my recommendation would be watch his stuff before 2011, and um, watch my videos, <laughs> and if I'm not clear, please help me by asking questions or something, I don't know. Right, I think that'll do for the moment. Okay, bye.